Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. Here we will take a look at the ongoing earthquakes around the island. This is Iceland. As you see, every day we have plenty of earthquakes. Usually they end in nothing. But since we have this ongoing unrest close to Bulagun, we will take a better look uh, at Reykjanes Peninsula. Is Icelandic Met Office predicts the volcanic eruption anytime soon. And we will try to analyze on where it is most likely to take place. So here we are north of Grindavik. As you see, and most of earthquakes are concentrated north of the town. Uh, uh, between Stora Skogafat and Silingafat mountain. Which is where we have the ancient crater called Sunnukangingar or Sunnukur uh, crater. And we had quite many earthquakes the past 24 hours. Most of them are rather small, uh, magnitude 1 or less, as you see. But nearly all of them are concentrated uh, here uh, east of uh, Silngafat. And the depth is 300 meters only here. And two, three kilometers, uh, three kilometers, um, two kilometers. Uh, 3 kilometers, uh, 4.6 kilometers, 4.3 kilometers, uh, 1.5 kilometer. This was very shallow early this morning. 3.5 kilometers. Uh, so then uh, for a while already we have had earthquakes um, uh, on the western slopes of Fagradasfjall here uh, in, in where you have the mountain range. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll show you on the map. You see. Uh, uh, still ongoing there, close to trail uh, B. You see a number of them there, but they predict eruption precisely here, north of Grindavik, anytime soon. Uh, there have been some earthquakes also in the town, and the biggest earthquake was much further uh, east uh, at the Hatlis Hazy Geothermal Power Plant. They are always drilling uh, for hot water there. Maybe they were doing some drilling work, that's why this earthquake. Uh, once they have been drilling for hot water, it was in the north of Iceland and they hit magma and it's still position. One of a few cases this happened. So the seismic unrest is ongoing, but it's insignificant and it's not felt in the towns nearby because all the earthquakes are rather uh, very small. Yesterday there was an interview with Icelandic volcanologist called uh, Arman Huskulsson. Here you see his picture. Volcanologist at the University of Iceland, Institute of Geosciences. And he predicts uh, volcanic eruption anytime this weekend. In fact, he told uh, that uh, it's likely to take place last night, but it didn't. Uh, Torvaldur Torvarsson, the other Icelandic volcanologist, on the other hand, predicted the eruption to take place on Monday, but it's already almost a week since uh, Monday and uh, nothing so far happened. So it tells how little we know about uh, volcanic eruptions and how little uh, we can tell when they will happen exactly. So it's uh, rather unpredictable, more or less, more or less we can tell approximately the time, but not exactly. And we still don't know if volcano will erupt or not, but most of scientists tell that it will. It's almost imminent and it's a question not really of uh, uh, days, but maybe perhaps even hours, anytime soon. Uh, ask it of his assessment of the situation right in this peninsula. Arma says the way it looks now, it will definitely be an eruption rather than magma flow or intrusion with no eruption. And if it occurs in the Sunnuka Sunnuka crater, it will be tonight or this weekend. Tonight it was yesterday night. Didn't happen. But this is bound to give way unless something changes. Uh, Arman believes that the eruption will be similar to the eruption on February 8th and will be short as there is little magma under the surface. And most likely it will be here east of uh, Silngafat. <clears throat> uh, for a long time, the same volcanologist had been uh, 
predicting eruption uh, to the west of Blue Lagoon uh, at Eldworth Crater, I'll show you on the map, and he tells uh, that um, uh, if it ends in Eldworth, if we see eruptions there, where the middle uh, is in the plate junction, the tonic plate uh, junction runs there, uh, then this chain of event uh, will uh, will change. I mean, the eruptions in Snooker Gear Crater will stop. And he says that volcanic eruptions at Eldworth Crater will then probably last longer and be larger in size. It's easier for magma to go up there when it finally gets there. And I fully expect that if it starts uh, erupting in Eldworth, uh, we will have repeated events like the eruptions at Snooker Gear Crater. Uh, role series. So now there was also an interview with uh, Torvald Tordason today. Same opinion was expressed by Torvald Tordason. Here you see his picture. He tells it's a matter of days, if not hours. Uh, this article is from to today. Uh, we have reached the limit of endurance, and I think it's a matter of days, if not a matter of hours, when it erupts. Uh, eruption would be similar to the last eruption on February 8th when we had three kilometers long fissure opening up and lava subsequently flowed over Green David Highway. Uh, I think it will probably be a recurring theme. Uh, it is by far the most likely that we will have similar eruption as the last time in a, sim in, in a similar place. Uh, the biggest uncertainty is the direction of the lava, according to Torvaldor. He does not rule out that lava flowing over Green David Highway, Route 93, where the lava can flow a considerable distance. How it flows exactly, there is more uncertainty about that it could flow to the east, and then it has better chance of spreading, staying away from the area east uh, of Sunuka. Uh, Giger crater, if it goes west, it is most likely to quickly confine itself to certain transport channels, then it can go a considerable distance. Then there is a possibility that this will also cross uh, Green Devic Road. Um, asked about the fortifications around Swatsenge in Green Devic Town, he said that. I'm not sure if they will work in this eruption. He's convinced that they will fulfill their role, but it, it would be more unfortunate if a crack opened through them or within them. There is currently no indication of such a thing. Now, let's take a look on the map of Reykjanes Peninsula where we expect the eruption. Here you see the ancient row of Sunuka Gingar crater craters. That's where we had volcanic eruptions uh, past three times. Also here north of Stora Skoga Kaka Mountain. And there is a likelihood that lava might, might, may, may even reach Kaplavik Highway, which is this road, very significant um, road in Iceland. It's actually the most busy road in all of Iceland. It's a connection link to the airport. Um, but they have already made plans in such a for such a development. If this happens, some scenarios how they can deal with that. And <clears throat> if this road gets flooded, most likely they will make a new road over the lava as they did before within days, and uh, shouldn't be a big problem. But um, the best. Scenario would be, of course, if lava would keep flowing here to the to the east in this valley to the east, call it not Hunger Creek Valley. That would be the best. Uh, here we have a wall, as you know, north of Grindavik, next to this GMO greenhouse, which protects the city from possible lava outbreaks. So most of activity currently is precisely here earthquake activity that we were looking at, seismic activity along those craters. And 
So this is the map of the area. The Reykjanes Peninsula is not that big, but it's very important uh, part of Iceland. That's where most of people live. Two-thirds of population of Iceland concentrated here in the capital area and also in the neighboring towns. <clears throat> it's also the newest part of Iceland, one of the newest lands formed in historical times. <clears throat> 